Hello all, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we will be talking about a WinRA zero day that was published last few weeks ago and we will also be showing how we can exploit it with a publicly available tool on GitHub. An article was published on Reddit Cybersecurity that says hackers are exploiting WinRA zero day bug to steal funds from broker accounts. If we were to quickly look through the article, we can see that the vulnerability allows the hackers to hide malicious script in archive files, pretending to be images, documents, or text files. This means that if you were to double click on the innocent looking files such as the image file, a malicious script can be executed instead, allowing command execution on your system. It seems that this is mainly targeted on forums that are related to trading and investment. That is pretty interesting. Fortunately for us, a Python script was published on GitHub which will perform the exploit generation for this WinRAR vulnerability. This means that it will automatically create the compressed archive file for us if we supply the Python script with the bit file name, the malicious script, and the output name of the archive file that we want to create. In the GitHub repository, examples are provided. It is pretty clear on what to do and how to use the script. It should be noted that the affected WinRA version is 6.22 or lesser. We will need to download WinRA 6.22 to test this out. Before we continue with the exploit demonstration, it is highly recommended to give this group IB article a read. It provides a detailed write-up of this issue and its discovery. This is a pretty good read. Now, let's hop over to our Windows machine and download the vulnerable WinRA 6.22 first. This is the official WinRAR download page. We can see that the latest version is 6.23 which is not vulnerable. If we were to select the version to be 6.22, no download links will be provided. This is weird. Does this mean that we are unable to download the older version 6.22 of WinRAR? If we were to look at the download link of the latest version, we can see that this is the full download URL. If we were to change the file name, from 623.exe to 622.exe, it will work and you will be able to download the older version of WinRAR to test it out. Alright, now let's follow through the setup and installation of WinRAR. Awesome, it is all set up now. Let's hop over to our Kali machine and clone the GitHub repository. Alright, if we check out the content, we can see that the bit file PDF is available as well as the script.bat bat file. The current script bat file will simply execute calculator. Let's change it to PowerShell instead and give it a try. Now let's run the Python script and supply it with the necessary arguments such as the PDF file, the script bat file, the output file that we want to create. Let's name it demo.ra. Now let's transfer the demo.ra file over to our Windows machine and give it a shot. Let's open it with our vulnerable WinRA. If we were to double click on the PDF document, amazingly, our script.bat file, which is not shown to the victim, is executed instead. PowerShell pops out as expected. Your victim will simply double click on the documents and images, thinking that it is safe. But underneath the hood, a malicious script is executed instead. Now, let's create a proof of concept displaying a message box instead. Let's quickly create a C++ file that will pop up a message box saying Gemini Security. Awesome, this should do it. Let's compile it as poc.exe. Now let's modify the script.bat file. We will need to transfer the poc over to our victim machine first before we can execute it. Let's output the poc.exe file to the temp directory and execute it. Alright, this should do it. Now let's generate a new archive raw file with this new script content. Let's name it demo2. We will need to spin up a web server so that the victim can download the POC file from our Kali machine. Let's transfer the demo to RA file over and give it a shot. Let's double click on the harmless looking PDF file again. Oh nice, it works. A demonstration showcasing a cute little dropper downloading a second stage payload. Once the POC.exe is downloaded and executed, a nice message box is popped. Awesome. Of course, in reality, we will need to somehow hide the console window, else this will be hilarious. It's interesting that the references only mention malicious scripts being executed. I wonder if we can do it with a .exe binary file itself rather than a script. Let's give it a try. Let's generate the exploit archive raw file again, but this time round, instead of the script.bat file, we will supply the poc.exe file directly instead. Alright, let's transfer the demo tree raw file over to our windows and give it a shot again.
awesome this works. We can input an exe binary file directly. It is not limited to script files. For our final demo, let's show something more impactful, like a Metaprinter reverse shell. For this demonstration, let's turn off Windows Defender to save time. Alright, now let's hop over to our Kali and generate the Metaprinter payload. This should do it. Let's not forget to set up our listener for it first. Awesome. Now let's generate a new archive RAW file with the metaprinter payload pwn.exe. Let's hop over to our Windows machine and transfer the demo4 file over and give it a shot. Let's double click on the harmless looking PDF file again. Nothing happens and no extra windows. And if we were to check on our listener, we have a nice callback now. This is definitely a nice vulnerability for phishing and initial access provided if your victim uses WinRAR. You can send your victim a RAR file and more than likely, he will download WinRAR in order to extract it. Now let's try out the latest WinRAR version 6.23 to see if this works. Okay, now we have the latest version of WinRAR and this vulnerability should no longer work. Let's give it a shot and try to open up demo for RAR file again. If we were to double click on the PDF now, it can be seen that it is indeed trying to open up the correct PDF file. It will no longer work with the latest version of WinRAR. Alright all, that is it to this video. Let's end this off with a funny WinRAR meme that I have found online. I hope you all have found the video to be interesting and useful. All of the references shown will be in the video's description, so be sure to check it out. Also, I have recently created a completely free course on Udemy. It is an introductory course on phishing. It's completely free and it is only about 30 minutes long. Feel free to check it out on Udemy. The link will also be provided in the video's description. Please help to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It will really help out the channel a lot. Thanks all, I appreciate it. I will see you all soon in the next one. Bye.